This is the bag? No, that's just... <laughs> this is just the backpack. That's is there more? For, well, yeah, right there. This is for my belongings. Like, sleep, pajamas. <laughs> I don't like this. <laughs> <laughs> She's got, like, three bags. I'm prepared. <laughs> and I have one. <laughs> for one, one day trip. <laughs> Kevin, here we go. Just a little Jim Carrey for you. Let's do it, Betty! We're going to explore Crested Butte. We're going to Rustler's Gulch. That's the one. That's the one. One of the best trails in the area. It's looking pretty cool. World? Maybe. 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 It's kind of late in the season. Shoo! Samantha's not tired at all from the elevation. She does this on a daily basis. <laughs> You're doing great. <laughs> First crossing. I'm just gonna have to accept it. Oh, yeah, they're wet. Uh, not entirely sure if we're supposed to take this trail or go this way. Damn, dude, this is just too fucking gorgeous. Uh, it might be easier to cross up there. Go for the jump. You don't have to go for the jump if you don't want to. Nice! There's some purple ones. They're hanging on by a thread. They're looking a little parched. I mean, you can't tell me this ain't, ain't purdy. That peak is off, awfully precarious. It's precarious peak! Just double check. Yeah, those are moose. Absolutely. Yes. <laughs> it looks like a female moose and a calf. All the way out here. Damn, good spot, Connor. We got some uh, signs of old mining stuff back there. And then you come up here and you got, boom. Yep, a whole like processing. Sick surprise. What, that's so cool. This is super dope and flowers. I don't know, I'm assuming maybe they had some kind of, I don't know, processing thing. Kevin! So Kevbot got relocated to Crested Butte and we made it up here to see him. Not a bad view from this uh, little Airbnb killer sunset would be like right there. Look at this young go hard. Get it, get it, get it. Do a jump or something. Do something cool. Ripper! People will be biking out here. People will be biking. Wait, so the building? Build you're... Just no, just my unit. Just your so unit. What year was this building built? I have no idea. There will be lots in this town. Sam, you're driving, right? Cool. No, you're driving. No, I can't drive. I'll drive your car. Because you I'm going to drink a lot. Oh. I'll drive your car. Kevin, I'm making a uh, whole YouTube video on Crested Butte. And Sa you. Featuring Samantha, Kevin. Barbara Sheets. Uh, a couple of front rangers visiting a mountain Yeah, guy. a couple front rangers. Samantha was like going through the videos. <laughs> Cause then you remember my like quarantine videos where I would do like the transitions where I would like yeah. speed through. I was like, oh, should I bring that back for this hike? And she was like, yeah. And we're at the pizza place and she's like going through the videos and I airdropped her a bunch of videos. And she's like, why is this one like sideways? How did you even do that? <laughs> You turn the camera <laughs> sideways. It, it looks really small. That. All right, 
cross with you. It's been chill. What up, cats? Thank you for watching this very short and poorly put together video of Crested Buttes. I appreciate all the homies and friends and families who are watching the videos and enjoying them. It is becoming increasingly more difficult to plan out these videos. Working 70 hours a week, um, I'm in transition of uh, moving and planning my next trips. We're going to Egypt, Jordan, London in about a month. After that, it's going to be a couple months of traveling at the beginning of the year. So it's really hard to sit down and actually plan out a video like Crescent Butte. Uh, it was the first time to Crescent Butte. I really had never even like driven through there much at all over the past, you know, seven years that I've been in and out of Colorado, but it was a very chill mountain town compared to, you know, like Frisco, where that's a town that's just like way too close to the city, easy access, Aspen's going to be pretty bougie, Crescent Butte is kind of like it's tucked away in its own place, it's got its own vibe people are super nice it is absolutely gorgeous i really hope i can make it out there for the fall because it seems like fall there would be insane at the main street just like downtown crescent butte you're just staring at this mountain that just has aspen groves all over it so i can't even imagine what it's like during the fall we had just missed it on our hike in rustler's gulch which was gorgeous but we had just missed the blooming of the flowers being on that hike and seeing what flowers we did see i can only imagine that during peak spring it is just explosive with colors there's tons of hikes in the area just off-roading dispersed camping like there's so much to explore i will say mountain town local people once the sun goes down people kind of get a little crazy uh, everyone kind of bounces from bar to bar which is cool but the the local folk in mountain towns definitely love to like party and go hard and you kind of get some some interesting people but that's my perspective on Crescent Buttes it was a lot of fun really hope I can go back and explore that area more thank you for watching and subscribe and all that jazz thank you